Dad, happy Father's Day. Which brings me to a hilarious point. Trending right now in the 49er community above everybody is Anthony Davis, who seems to have completely lost his mind. A tweet just the other day. Now, he's had some outrageous tweets. Everybody's seen those. But he finally got to the next level. Let me, let me read this, guys. He says, <clears throat> what I... He says, tweets, yeah, Trent loves me. Now, this was after the, the threat that Eugene Monroe, 49ers were taking an interest in Eugene Monroe. Anthony immediately goes to his computer and logs into Twitter and says, yeah, Trent loves me too much to let me go. That's my sugar daddy. You know what? Here's the thing, guys. <laughs> the hell is AD <clears throat> talking about? Okay, you know what? Because I got my own speculations. I want to see what you guys feel about as far as, let's start with Tito. Tito, what in the hell is Anthony Davis talking about? Trent's his sugar daddy. What? What? Can... He's trying to just to get cut. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get out of there and go to his team that he wants. In reality, that's all he's been wanting. But the 49ers are not going to cut him. And, and it's put it like this. If you want to uh, on retire, get your butt in and compete for your uh, spot. That's all it is. He wants to be cut. He wants to go to a team like the Giants that needs help. Or he can't even go and backstab every, every 49er fan go to Seattle, which they need help in offensive line. <laughs> I mean, I say it like this. You are you retired? You are retired? Your rights are still with us. We could yeah. trade you to a team that we think you deserve to. And at least trade him to a team that's not in our division because Seattle will eat Anthony yeah. Davis up in a heartbeat. Mark. What's going on? Mark. How you feeling, man? About I'm, oh, go ahead. Tell, tell me how you physically feeling first. Oh, go ahead. Man. I'm actually sick, bro. <laughs> but you know, I'm sitting there trying to get better. You, your picture looks like you're gonna go to heaven. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in the yeah, I like that glow right above me. I like cool. that. <laughs> That's lighting. Mark, what what did you do with Anthony Davis, man? Cause see, if I if it was up to me, I would trade him to Tampa Bay or something. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. What what? He's a great offensive lineman, though. If we could get Anthony Davis back, it would be just so good. But the man is causing some distractions that I have a feeling if he doesn't show up in six weeks, could really become a serious problem. What do you think? Yeah, man, I, I would like to get him back. I think he's a hell of a lineman. I'm with Tito. I think he's trying to cause enough issues where he knows his organization. He knows they're not going to be with the games and the shenanigans. So he wants to piss some people off and get them to cut him and say, we don't want this guy. But I think this is a new 49er for front office to where they're playing hardball with these guys nowadays. and it's, They're going to look for their benefit first before they look at anything else. So that's just what I'm saying. He's just clowning. He's just trying to get cut. Come on, Professor Lewis. So if you're an owner, though, are you going to – I'm going to sit back and watch these antics going on on a daily basis. I guess sometimes talent just overrules everything. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, right. in the position we're in, I can see us trying to work with them, but – I don't know. I'm kind of in between. I want them back, but at the same time, with a young roster like that, we don't need no distraction on the team. We got a young mm. roster. We need some people who – we don't need people in the locker room who are going to be, you know, feeding into this kind of bullshit. So. And, and, and can you see in two seasons we got another offensive lineman that's uh, really good? Can you right. see Chris Brown playing these games? And it, it'll call the Twitter technique. Right. As, as – <laughs> As designed and created by Anthony Davis, I want to see that again, man. I tell you what, that's that's, that's enough. Say, hey, Don. Oh, as a matter of fact, Steve, you know, that's Mark. Mark, did you want to bring a point up? Because I, I just asked that question because I want to get started on that right away. But you, you got a point you want to bring up today? No, nah, man. I watch you guys every week. I've come on a couple times, so I'm just, you know, I'm sick. My family took off mm. to visit grandparents and everything okay. else, so I'm here by myself today, so I got a chance to jump in. Man, it sounds so sad, though, man, but we're glad to have you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. My family. Hey, that's my excuse to say. You guys fun. go ahead. You guys go ahead. I'll stay home. I'm not feeling good. I'm going to hop on the Zombo. <laughs> glad to have you, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, it's Steve Nielsen. Hey, good day, Rambo. Hey, Steve. Steve, I, I, let me ask you about I want to ask you about Jared. Now, what's going on in the news down there? Because the first story from Jared Harry was – he says the playbook was a little too intense. He didn't think he could catch up in time. He couldn't do this. It was all about it seeming like Hayne just copped out. Another story came out just a few hours ago, actually, saying that Jared said, just to clarify what I said, 
is I wouldn't be able to come back after the Olympics because the playbook is complicated enough that I would need more time and I wouldn't be able to catch up with the rest of my my teammates. Which story is true? I don't know, Rombo. There, um, I haven't heard anything on Australian media. It's like he's gone on the ground since he played that uh, rugby game over in England or whatever. But um, he's gone underground. I haven't heard nothing about him. I thought that was off the Aussie press. Okay. Oh, well, maybe I missed it. Yeah, because Jer Jared's not happy with what was printed, and he came Break out, out and he city. said. You, you print and, and it got kind of nasty at the end. Jared says, you, "You know, you don't need to just print things because they sound good." You know, and I, I said, yeah. "Oh, Jared's not happy with that one at all." Nah, that, that's the Aussie press. They'll print anything for you. But uh, I, I was pretty well disappointed um, a little bit when he left because um, I thought he was going to have a breakout year. But um, I was I, uh, when I heard you talking to Michael, Aussie Michael Mick, a couple of weeks ago that. Um, but he he was approached in January when he was on holidays by the uh, Fijian coach. I thought, that can't be right. God. So I was pissed off. And, uh, anyway. And now, yeah, now that's it. I, I don't know the love return. Is it, hey, Sean. Hey, what's up, man? So, hey, Sean, 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 what's up, man? You look like you're, like you're ready for summer today, man. I can tell right now, bro. Man, you know, the sh Chicago weather out here, man, during the winters is crazy, but so in the summertime, man, we, we got to take advantage of it. Is, 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 is it humid? Uh, it's not too bad, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's all right. Today's a good day. All right. Good to hear. Sean, I, I, I was talking to Sean a little, a little earlier about uh, who's going to win the game. I mean, how do you feel about Bron Bron? And uh, Sean, for, for, for Warrior fans, Sean is in Chicago, but he is not. Rooting for Braun Braun. <laughs> nah, it's not. Hey man, look, a lot of a lot of people don't know, but I'm from the Bay Area, man. You know, I lived in Alameda, Oakland, San Leandro, Morgan oh. Hill, you know, San Jose. So, you know, it's uh, you I'm, I'm a Bay Area cat. Yeah. Huh? Now, yeah, your allegiance is still with Cali, especially. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Well, Sean, what you want? No what, what, you want to bring something special to the table today? Man, well, since you was talking about this uh, this Davis topic, man, I'm telling you, I'm just I'm just over it, bro. I'm over it, man. I'm just over it. Look, just just move on. Yeah, he's a hell of an offensive lineman, but let's just move on. Really, let's just move on from it. It, it seems a little more complicated than that for some reason because I, I I can't believe it's like he's holding something over somebody's head. I can't imagine. Yeah. Why yeah. in the world the 49ers continue to play these games with Anthony Davis? We'll probably find out a little later though. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, but it's like a girlfriend that you really wanted, or a girl you really <laughs> wanted, but she keeps messing with the other dude. But you kind of like, oh, do you want to be with me still? Or not? You know, you kind of in between where you really want it, but you don't. I'm sorry to jump in, man. No, it's okay. no you're all right. Yeah, but the, the thing is, he, there's no who's the other girl though. Uh, I, don't not, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think we Sherman. We <laughs> <laughs> I think the 49ers are the sit around I'll, I'll, Let around me please find that out. Emilio. Emilio. Mute. 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 I, I like the flag, bro. That is cool. Mute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, now I see the flag, what, what it's about. Really, that's pretty funny, man. Where did Emilio go? Is Emilio gone? Okay. If, if, if anything we know about Emilio, he's barbecuing right now, right? Steven! Steven? Steven's got... Michael! Yeah, mate. Hello. <laughs> Michael, maybe I can confirm yeah. this. Yeah. I was, I, just, yeah. I was just asking Steve Nielsen uh, about the Jared Hayne reports. I was wondering about the fact that Jared had to clear something up in very rude fashion today about why he left the 49ers. It was the first story printed up, and then Jared came in and clarified just yesterday about the truth about why he left. Did you Have you read anything about this yet? Yeah, yeah I read about it. it. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, what you said is was true. But I guess, yeah, I reckon, not enough about Jared, I reckon. <laughs> I think I'm over him right now. I'm, I'm more interested in the 2016 season. And, uh, uh, I agree. Um, I agree. So if... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Steve, you know what I get a kick out of you and Michael? You, yeah, you yeah. and Michael, I can compare your situation with Jared with the situation going on now with Anthony Davis. 
people are getting getting over Anthony. Everybody in Austria is getting over Jared. So now we can yeah. all concentrate on the 2016 season and what we do have going forward. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. What about that kid, the, the offensive tackle from the Ravens? They cut him, and the Niners and the Giants are interested in him. You haven't heard what, anything about that? What's his name? You, what's his name? Eugene. Eugene. The 49ers have already pretty much made it clear they're not in that running. At least the media is saying they're not in that running. So, yeah. yeah. So, AD. He doesn't want to play right tackle. What does he want to play? He does. He wants to play left tackle. I the Giants offered him. He doesn't want to play right. Giants offered him uh, to play right tackle, and he turned them down. And they were saying that the 49ers have their left tackle already, so it's obvious that that probably wouldn't work out. You know, here's the thing: Eugene Monroe and also Fitz over in in with the Jets. How do you get picky? And also, Fitz has got, like, until the season opens, and the Jets are going to pull that offer off the table. <laughs> What's he going to do? Left tackles, left tackles make more money than a right tackle. That's why you'd want to play left. No, no, that, yeah, that's, that's, that's your elite tackle for sure. So yeah. that's, I guess that's what his problem is. Will, would, would you move him to left tackle? I mean, we've got uh, we, we got Badles. We've got Joe Staley at left tackle. How the hell is he supposed to be going for left tackle? I'm just saying that Joe Staley seems like the type of player who wouldn't give a shit where he's playing if you were to ask him. But then again, uh, I, I wouldn't want to put Joe like that and be like, hey, you know, want to play okay, right tackle this year, you know. Well, let me, let me ask you this then. Between Eugene and Joe, who do you think's the most talented guy? For our team, Joe, obviously, yeah. So Joe's so been there the longest and, you know, he's put in the most work. Uh, but Eugene's pretty good too. I mean, he's no chunk. But I've not seen him in the top 100. Joe was yeah. Well, player. he got injured. That, he got injured, uh, who, so that definitely dropped younger? him off. Who's uh, Eugene? Before? Eugene Monroe. Eugene. He's 29. Yeah. Okay. I, I. I. You know what though? If the Ravens cut him loose, anytime I see a player get cut loose, I'm always concerned as to why they got cut loose. Well, because because they they just drafted a left tackle. Ronnie Stanley. Yeah, and he doesn't want to play right tackle, so he didn't want to play for the Ravens anymore because they got want him at right tackle. He wants that left tackle pay in that left tackle position. So. Okay, so Eugene has a legitimate beef. I've been here for how long? And you're going to tell me i got to move because of him? I guess you're yeah. supposed to take one for the team. That's not the right attitude. But Definitely. I'm still wondering why and how did that happen. All right. Tell you what. Uh, okay, guys, we're going we're gonna to start, we're gonna start dropping people because uh, we are. I'll drop out. I'll right. drop out. Well, thanks, man. All right, guys. I'll, I'll see you Talk next week. Talk to you guys later. See you right. now. Okay, well, later. Norm's, Norm's got his... <laughs> I always love when oh, Norm dear. comes in front of his TV. He's got something. Norm, what's on your mind, bro? All right. Um, Y'all hear me, right? First yeah, and here. foremost. Nope. Oh, okay. So, um, no cafe today. I just want to say happy Father's Day to all the tech out there. Oh, no. Even the ones that not the ones that I can't hear you, bro. Uh, oh, yeah, put, yeah. yeah, Norm, Boss, keep, Boss, that, keep that mic right up in your mouth. It seems to stay okay. transparent and clear. All right. So I remember somebody talking about uh, a comparison to Anthony Davis and a woman, right? I'm thinking that situation reminds me of, like, that, bro. that one that one badass chick that I know I want to get with, but she playing all these games like she don't want to give me the number or she want to play faulty, give me a cool Facebook post and all that. But then I got these up to these other women right here or this right. other one right here. She's hella cute. She ain't super bad like the first one, but she can still cook. She can clean up. You know, she can do extra stuff. And that's, that's exactly what I was talking about. That's what we have on the squad already. That's what I was we talking have, about, Norm. We got, we got a Zane. You know what I'm saying? We got a Zane Fatals. We got a... Uh, Joe Staley's. We got the Marcus. We got the Kilgore's back. The Daniel Kilgore. We got the we got Joshua Netflix. Garnett, who just graduated. And then you got, mm. you know, he's kind of slow, sluggish right now, but he'll pick it up. Trent Brown. He'll pick it up. So I don't. I mean, our O line is solid right now. I mean, it's getting better with that situation. Mm -hmm. And what else do I want to talk about? Oh, defensive line. Yeah, defensive line. Ooh, okay. Keep so, an idea. What do you think, mate? Um. For now, I see starting, I see, of course, I see Armstead and Buck on, on two sides. Armstead and Buckner. But then in the middle, do I want Glenn, Dor or, uh, Glenn Dorsey or Quentin Dial? Quentin Dial. 
Yeah. Dial. Because I don't want Quentin Dial before Ian, while Ian Williams is uh, is uh, resting that injury, is, you know, attended to that injury. But I like Quentin Dial up there. He's putting in some work for our defense. But I'm, like, I'm telling you that Armstead and Buckner collabo. Oh, God, that's an awesome front three. God <laughs> damn, damn, God. Like, I was, oh, I want to see I, that. Now, y'all seen I was playing Madden, right? I had Buckner and Armstead on the squad, and they was tear and ish up. On the defense. <laughs> and dial with, and dial with the nose tackle? Oh. Yeah, Russell Wilson running like a chicken with his head cut off. Mind you, he is a chicken, and he's going to get his head cut off this season. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about that defensive line. Yeah, because the nice thing about that is, I don't think, I don't think Lil Russ can outrun both Buckner and Armstead. I don't think he can do it. Both of those guys are hella fast. They, I mean, they can run with all that stuff. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I can't hear him. I can't hear you. No. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I can't hear you, Norm. You broke up, Norm. I know. Am I back? Am I back? You go, you go ahead, Norm. Okay. You're back a little bit. I said, if he runs, he runs. He can run, outrun one, but the other one would be waiting for him like, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and his favorite guy, Aaron Lynch. <laughs> You run to, he'll have to run to the, he'll have to run to his right or to his left. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad you brought that up on uh, one of our uh, video live all. Norm, no, listen, we lost again, Norm. Anyway, Norm, Norm listen, we got we got we got we're, we're all in the house. Uh, <laughs> okay. I get uh, Hi, Norm. Big time. All right, bro. Emilio. Emilio. Emilio's still absent. I thought I heard him yelling a minute ago. No, no. Everyone, but I just wanted to know, or uh, put it out there about Jim O'Neill, what people think about um, the chances of Jim oh. O'Neill performing as a defensive coordinator this year. Because he hasn't had much of a track record in previous seasons, and I'm wondering if is this season going to be any different. Good question. Just, Put it out there on the floor. Just no, hey, Stephen, Stephen, you're feeling on that, Steve. Stephen, I can barely Nate? hear. Sorry. What was it? Yeah. No. Okay. Michael's Sorry asking. Michael's question is your feeling. I'm, I'm asking you the question. How do you feel about <laughs> Jim O'Neill as a defensive coordinator? Do you expect a good job over man Genie, say for instance, or even equal to Fangio? Based on his track record as well, so he's he hasn't got the best track record. Yeah, because Jim O'Neill's Jim O'Neill at Cleveland was not that good. What what, what are you thinking? Hey, Steven? Right. Someone's uh, breaking. Everybody's breaking out a little bit. Yeah, no, it, it maybe it may be Skype. Look, what's a, is well, that you, I, Steven? Did you is, is that you, Steven? Me? Yeah, Stephen, did you what? did you did you just hear the question? I I can't really hear the damn question. I I, I heard bits and parts of the last time you guys said it, but not. Okay. I think I think I, I think the question was how Jim O'Neill is going to do with our defense. Yeah, Sean, I, I was going to I was going to I was going to come to you. And all right. <laughs> Sean or no. Lamar? Yeah. yeah, handle that one. Yeah, what, what do you think, Sean? Go ahead. Man, I, I think Jim's going to be all right, man. I mean, who did he really have in Cleveland when he was there? He really didn't have nobody. And then you look at our defense. Our defense, we got ballers, man. We got people who are hungry, who ain't scared to get after it. I think Jim O'Neill is going to be all right. I mean, you can be – look, you could be the best coach in the league, but if you don't have talent, you're going to have a hard time. We got talent. I think Jim's going to be all right. like that, like that. Sean – I mean, not Sean, but uh, the Emilio's back. <laughs> Well, I was never gone. I heard everything. Well, I mean, well, did you hear me when I said Emilio three, four times? Yeah, I did. I, I just couldn't answer. Yeah. <laughs> Emilio, as he's walking through the neighborhood again, Emilio. Yeah. About I tell you what, and Michael's asking the question about the defense. What do you expect? And, and take Hello. It, take it into concentration yeah, with what Sean just said as well. Go ahead. Well, I mean, yeah, he has a point. I mean, we do have better players than, you know, Cleveland didn't have, doesn't have too much. So it's always going to be like, what, you know. I still say we ain't got them. We got a few players as well, so. <laughs> but it ain't, it ain't, I don't, 
it's, it's still wait to see what, what this defense can do. Like I said, our defense was a little bit better than theirs, but it ain't going to be no top nine, top five defense that, that some of y'all expect it to be because it's not. Obviously, hey, I, wonder, I would be shocked I, I, if it was, but I don't see no top five defense not right now. We're too far. We're too far from that. Way too I'm far. I'm kind of a little bit, a little bit disagree with you. We we got the players to do it. I mean, I, and he, he, no, with the we Browns, got the he players, wasn't all that. He, with the Brown, he wasn't all that. But he was. I mean, if you check on that a little bit past his defense, where he had the players over there, it was kind of okay. They were doing good. But all of a sudden, yeah. all the players were leaving. Now, with us, with the way that he's moving and changing and doing things right, we haven't really seen it yet. But if, if everybody's jailed together quickly from the preseason, I can see us moving maybe from the top but you five. Just, you, so you're just hoping the team just jumps up to, from one step to another? Listen, just from listen. The from position last, that we year, top from five. last year to now, Here we go. all we had last year, our defense, our front needed help. Our defense and coaching, the whole the whole defense coaching, needed help. Not just the front. No, 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 no. Linebackers, we needed help corners. in the front. Let him, let let him finish, man. Let help. him finish. Listen, hold on. Give me a second. See, we needed help in defensive <laughs> end. We needed help there to go out for the quarterback. We didn't have right. nobody there. There was no de defensive pass rush at all. Every time you right. see you see a bomb, bombs away, bombs away. I don't know where the cornerbacks going to do everything themselves. They're not getting up up front. Ball well, then why do everything they, themselves either? Well, Come here's on, a question. We I got the help. Yeah. We got the defense. And we got uh, good picked up some good players in the draft, which I'm happy about. Yeah, but about. that, but that, just because we picked them up doesn't mean that no. they, these guys are going to be all stars. You're just assuming they're going to be all stars. All stars. I say we could see us moving up. We could I, see I, okay. our defense said, being way that better our than you think. Our defense is going to be better last year. I never said it was going to be horrible. I said it was going to be better than it was going to be last year. But it's I not. See it. That's year two. That's too top far. Top five. Top, that's too far, dude. Be. Listen. Not, it okay, could especially be our, our, the way our defense. schedule is. There's no hell no way we're going to be no top five defense. Man, I don't even see that. That I would be shocked as fuck if that happened if we were top five. <laughs> honestly. It's too far from that. But all I know is, not, if I'm we get pressure, if great. great. But I don't see. I, don't, I just don't see that. It could be. If anybody's here, now you want to change. Now you want to change. All of a sudden, if you it, it does five, happen, be, be come happy. on, man. I'm not gonna call you out on that. Come our top on. five defense. You went from it could be to it is. Come on, stick with one. Whatever, guys, it guys. will be with the guys with the players. I still say it will be. Time out. Time out. Come on. It could be. It could be. Steven, Steven is trying to get in with a question. Steven, go ahead. What is the question, please? Well, I wanted to say because Tito said that we don't have no pass rushers, right? Well, then how come every Last time year. we bring up, well, every time we bring up someone like Aaron Lynch, you guys get what off of them saying that he's always getting there when he gets there so late? I mean, that's something that Will pointed we out. We needed to me more than one person. Though. <clears throat> okay, on. okay, then just make we that clear. Because, help. Because we you say we had none at all, front. and everybody oh, always talks about him getting to the quarterback. He doesn't even get to the quarterback on time. That's what I noticed. Oh, 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 he's slow. Wait, hold on. He's slow. Hey, hey. Let me, let he's me slow. His advantage is he's got length. Then, he's slow. Then, let, let me ask you guys all a question. Why do you guys? Yeah. Why are you guys so accepted with with someone like Quentin Dial or someone like that nature or, or Hodges? I mean, I'm not saying that that. I mean, obviously that's the best we got those positions. But why do we always talk about them as if they're already uh, about to be Pro Bowlers or something? I don't understand that. Thank you. Thank you. I agree with you. Uh, who said anything about pro bowlers? Who, who's talking no, about that? Not, not, no, not this no, one. Not this one. We need to help our front. We, need we have always been talking we about them like they're somewhat mentionable. We did that. I said that these defense with the players that we drafted, no, they no, no. could be. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm pretty I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about defense. You're switching up the subject. We need to help on the defense. But we need to help on the pressure up front. Okay. Everybody okay. does it about their team. I'm in yeah. Phoenix. No, no, they do I don't. the same thing I don't. about uh, somebody else. Will, Will, hey, Will, 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 Will does it. Will Steven, does it. Steven, Steven. Let this man talk. Let this man Steve, talk. Steve, Steve, Steve. Now, you, you had yours. Let him have it. Okay. All right. Let, All right. Let, let him defend it. That's, that's the shit Raider fans do. But see, All that's right. the thing. How does he say that that every everybody he's, and everything he's, does he's, that? Me, Emilio, he's, Will, Brandon don't do that He's getting ready to tell you. Steven, he's getting ready to tell you now, man. Check it. All right. Go ahead. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry that, that you let Tampon do it hey, all the time, and I can't do it. Bob, 
Just get, you know, because you, you ask okay. the question, so let the body answer. You, you keep okay. going on. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to let him answer, right. but right, I'm, I'm going to let him answer, but let me say just one thing, though. I just want to say one thing. I mean, he does have a point there because a lot of people on the show do actually do this shit and say, we're yeah. going to have pro Everybody. boy, we're going to do great. Yeah. So Everybody, bro. Okay, no, 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 I'm saying, all right, all right, good, Emilio. Okay, good. I just want to make one no. thing clear between Emilio and Steven. Who here remembers saying that we had a pro bowler on this team? You guys talk about them as if they are. I didn't say that they are. Okay, well, let's, let's, get, let's get that straight right now. Nobody yep, said okay. anything about a pro bowler, bro. Nobody. We just said we got good players. Now, you I guys you say that he's level. a pro bowler. If you, I said that if you guys you talk about them as if, if they're on the verge of being a pro bowler. If you interpret it that way, that's not us. That's you. Oh, shit. Well, well, you guys, you guys are gonna sit here and lie about that, saying you guys what? never talk about them as if they, if hey, you guys do. Steven, yes. who lied? We just said we got a good just, ball player, and I, you decided to be calling him a pro if, bowler. If I have to, if I have to get a recording app to, to, to get all the parts <laughs> edited, and then put them on the show, please. I will do it. I Please. No one here that Please said that it. these guys are pro bowlers like that. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, is, we Tito, have players defensive that Tito, we you're one of them, Tito. Everybody knows since the day before the draft, we needed help up front. I always said, nobody's I like, bro, nobody disagreed with you about that. Nobody disagreed with you there, man. You are? You are? No, I don't. Yeah, you are. I can still see me from the other side. You sat there and you said you haven't got any players. You're not sitting at all. No, I, mean, I never said in my life I was a pro bowler. <laughs> never. And Steve is going to no, oh, You motherfucker said you were pro bowlers, and that's a goddamn lie. I never <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Nobody said bowler. anything about a pro bowler. So if we're all going to start lying, then let's just get stupid with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you, guys, you, guys literally, you guys literally. No, talk Steven, about no, literally. You, you made that shit up. No, I'm not. He didn't make it. You made that recording up. Is hold on, hold on. Where, where you at, man? Yeah. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just listening. I, I just <laughs> look, guys. I, I, okay, look. When Tito says top five defense, possibly it still yeah, sounds a little. It still sounds a little retarded when the sense when you think of all like thirty, that. all thirty two teams in the NFL, and you're saying out of all thirty two teams, excuse me, thirty one teams, we're going to be in the top five defense. It's like everyone forgets that there's other teams and other players. And like as far as our roster I'm on not defense, about other yeah, teams. it's nicer. Hey, let the man talk. Let the I'm man talking talk, about Tilo. Our division. I'm talking about yes, my okay. Division. All right. But at the I same time, let him finish. Tito, 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 let him finish, guys, and everybody else, let him finish. All right, go ahead. Will. Like I said, like I said, when you rank the top defenses, you rank it amongst the top or 32 teams. So you're saying we're gonna be top five? That's 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 understandable. You want to be one of those fans that like reaches super high. But realistically, all I'm saying is not to offend the Niners or any fans. Is that there's a lot of better defensive teams out there than ours right now. Right. Maybe we're getting better, and yes, since last year we have, but it's still not gonna be in that category, and especially considering all the players so that we we've lost. We don't know that we're going to be and in the yet, category. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. Let, 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 yet, let, a voice of, let a voice of reason come in for a second. Let Mark speak for me. All I'm saying is, if we go and say, I've seen T-Dot, I mean, uh, Ron Bob heard you say this before. We can't say we're not going to be there. Just as well, we can't say we, we're going to be there. Thank it's you. it's a far fetch to say always that we're going to be there. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, agree, yeah, Mark. I, I yeah, agree, if I Mark. Say, if I say, okay, like Tito said that we're going to be top five defense, and yet if I say no, People like Tampon are going to hop on and say, I'm an agent or I'm hating on the team. How the hell is that hating on the team? It's just being realistic about it. We're not freaking – Hey, Steven, Steven, I don't get see, that. Steven there's where you, that's, that's where you start your argument right there. You assume that you're the voice – of absolute. I'm not the. I'm not the. You, 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 there's a lot of. People you wait a minute. Let me, let me let me finish. Let me finish my statement. When you come on, Saint Tito says we could be. You say there's no way. You see, the no way people come off too strong. You don't know any more than we do about the team because they haven't played yet. That's, That's the point. It's, it's this is the point. It's so to lies. say to say it's no way is as equal to bullshit as the same way. You see? Right. Yeah. Clearly. Híjole, I That's like what it. I'm talking about. You know, just because you said there's no way, no way, and just because we said there is way, don't mean it's way. So that's what I'm saying. Come back down off the high horse, make your point, and substantiate it with something other than, I said you guys aren't being real. It's unrealistic to think we could be a top five. You don't know that. 
You don't know it. That's it what is. Well, 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 then I guess we're going to be top five then, Rombo. If that's I didn't say that. I well, didn't say that. Uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Tito insinuated, oh, and, I, that, and you came in and said, that, you're being unrealistic. That, I have a problem. Exactly, that's, like, that's, like, boom. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Prove this. it. If you can prove what you're saying, Tito says... No one can prove anything. You watch me. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All I'll say is this. No, but you guys don't say that. You guys won't admit that. You guys always right by saying... You're going to admit... Will you admit that there's no... You guys are going to sit there? You guys are going to sit there and not argue with that? Yeah. Well, you're, who's, who are you arguing with? Who are you with? The guy says there's no way. So we're supposed to say, Stephen, you're right. We are top 50. We will not even be in the top <laughs> 50. We have no fucking prayer. What are you going to ask Cream? There's not a defense uh, in the league. Yeah, we're the 49er defense. Uh, I'm Stephen. Give me a break. Today's a good Does that day, make bro. any sense? Today's a good day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make any sense. We're supposed to sit here and listen to that and say, yep, you're right. We suck. And we haven't played a game one. We haven't played a game one. Like I said, yes, I'm a Raider fan and Cowboy fan. All of a sudden, oh, we're great. Oh, I mean, no, that doesn't make any sense. That's a weak That's a weak ass. That's a weak ass. That is weak, Emilio. Raider fans do. See, no, it's not because Raider fans do it every fucking year, in and in, you not, no matter if they suck or not. Now, you guys want to sound like them, like idiots? That don't matter. Yeah, that's. I It's the idiot is the guy who don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Then why did I say top five? Nobody knows what's going to happen. Listen, guys, guys. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, if you were to ask yourself, how many teams are we better in the NFL right now, honestly? Like, how many could you honestly say? Five, maybe ten. Where's that put us? That still puts us in the top fifteen somewhere. That's nowhere near the top five, the top ten, where you need to be to make playoffs. I can do better than that. I don't know. I can do better than that. Vegas says we're not better than that. What do you mean you don't know? How do you not know when you watch football? You guys don't watch football? You guys don't pay attention? You guys don't pay attention to football? You guys don't pay attention. Okay. Okay, Will, let's let somebody answer before it. Harbaugh and and another worried. thing, notice, I want I want to just say, hold notice hold that every hold time, hold like, it, so everybody, speak, everybody's the same, though. Notice that? Not everybody's the same on the show. You got people like Tito, and you got people like Emilio. There's two sides to the show, I notice. And 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 if I if, if people are saying Emilio's crazy, then I guess half of us are crazy. Or no, he's crazy. not crazy. Neither is no, Tito, though. No, see, yeah, I don't get that. There's another misunderstanding. No, no, no. That's the misunderstanding in the first place. It, it, it's, it's, almost like, it's almost like, like, Rombo, it's almost like they follow you. And when they follow yeah. you, it's almost, yes, it is, Rombo. They love to hear Yo. you and people like Tampon, people like Norm, people like Keo, <laughs> people Rumble. like all these people want to be with you guys. And you guys stick together all with right. you guys' decisions. And you're not sticking together on that decision? I stick up for my own all, all, all opinion. I, I don't. I don't follow oh, people's opinions. Okay. But no, you're from, following from the media. From last year, from no, last year, no, he, no, he's not. I have he doesn't my own agree with me in a lot of I shit. I have my no, own no, opinion. No, I disagree no. upon everybody's decisions. <laughs> but it, I noticed that you guys. <laughs> <laughs> how do you say our How do you say our cornerbacks are better when Tremaine Brock is still the best cornerback in camp? From what they're saying, like out of Who everywhere, the hell said it's like. That? Yeah, you just said, said it, Tito. You just said you I said last said year we didn't have corners. I didn't say nothing else. Okay, you guys fine. Were still talking. I didn't say any crap about anything else. And what I about our quarterback? Our quarterback is the okay, same. LeBron. Okay, wait. Ask well, the question. Let, let me ask talk, man. I'm not saying nothing. You okay, guys are LeBron. not freaking listening. It makes no sense talking. Hey, who was it when we was on the, the live the live uh, call list last time? Somebody said Brock was the next Sherman. Who said that? That was Did a million. Said, that was me. Shit. Like, I, see, I didn't know, but see, see, no, here, like, here. What I had said when we were on, like, I said, if Barack goes to the Seahawks, he would do as good as a fucking Sherman, is what I said. I, don't I didn't say we had good, the next Sherman. He would do better. He would do a lot better hey, than what he did is now. We might now that's, have the next that's dumb, too. <laughs> Fuck you too. How about you that? Gotta, you, you gotta understand. <laughs> see, y'all, see us up front, defense. The front. Hey, but look. Moves. Go ahead, go ahead. But, hey, but look. Subject, I, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, because we were – I forget who was on the call list, but when we were talking, we went through the schedule. And when we went against yeah. who could who could Brock shut down, we went through the whole schedule. He couldn't fucking shut down nobody. I'm telling you that right, right now. I'm not saying he You're can't right. ball. But, but when we went down through the whole schedule, he couldn't fucking shut down anybody. You're right, Sean. I mean, You're right. 
And and because I, of that, I don't, I don't like what, I never what, no. But what do you say to the fact that the all Niner reports are saying he's leading the cornerbacks in camp right now? Like he's the starting cornerback as of now. Like what do you say? Uh, well, that's our best cornerback, exactly. and you can't shut down no one. But y'all want to act it's, like our defense is up in the, the top the category. But it's whatever. It's Jesus forever. Christ, just, man. You still love the Niners. Can I, 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 can I just I, say I, something I, about I, that? I, 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 everybody everybody needs to get better like, resources, too. I don't like that. Everybody else and let Rombo talk. Let Rombo talk. Hold on. Rombo's talk. Go ahead, Rombo. It's, it's, like, it's like I always said. We haven't even gotten to camp yet. That block is number one right now. Doesn't say anything more than that's all they know about as being because of his experience. <laughs> Uh, well, then I guess it's the same for uh, Quentin Dio and everyone else they talk about. Ellington, Patton, Dial, uh, that's true. Jimmy Ward. Dial, if that's, that's true. Case, wait, 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 if that's wait. the case, Rombo, if that's uh, okay. the case. But, but Will, what, that's is, true. What, what is the problem with, with Quentin Dial? I don't understand. Because you guys are picking oh, up. Oh, nothing. He's nothing. not. No, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is like, just like, Quentin Dial is nowhere near. Like, I can't name them all right now, but there's at least five defensive tackles, maybe even more than that, that are, like, definitely better than them. There's probably even some second-string defensive tackles that play better than them. And, like, I'm just saying, let's not overreact over a mediocre player. I mean, let's just yes. call it what it is, and he's a player who's going to fill in because our better player can't play in, which is Ian Williams. That's all he is. And he's not even a good backup, but it's fine. You know, like, hopefully <laughs> Buckner and Ark Armstead will pick up the dirty work. Yeah. Probably Bowman will, considering he held all the tackles last season. I mean, that just shows a lack of defense there. But that was last season. This is this season. There is an improvement, I'm sure. I mean, definitely not top five improvement, but, you know. Also, Will, what, what, what those who don't have any belief in the potential of the team, I realize last year's coaching situation wasn't the same as it is this year. Yes, that's something we can all agree on. And, Very right, true. Yeah. When you put players in, in a position to win, they'll also do so. And if that's not the case, you know, there's a bunch mm -hmm. of teams around the league that have that same situation. They don't have a front line full of blue chip players like some people think. That's why I say what everybody says, every team in the league is so goddamn good. I said, that's such bullshit. Every team in the league is just not fantastic. And then when you talk about the 49ers, you say the 49ers suck. I got about three, four other teams I can mention that suck too. That's yeah, that pissed me off. That shit pissed me off. That's, 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 so that's, that's just four. That's just four teams, though, Rombo. My point is, my point is, that's just four teams. Meaning, no, I mean, if I, if I four, go that puts us at twenty. That puts us at twenty. What? Twenty six in the league, oh. like uh, the best well, team, like. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna nitpick oh, in that fashion, if I go through and if I go down through and look through really carefully, I'd probably find more than that. Let's just, just say in our division, where do we where are we at in our division? Well, let's say third, okay. Third, only the Ravens and the uh, Ravens division, they seem to put three people in the playoffs, but the NFC is better than the AFC nowadays, so we already know it's not as easy to put three teams in one division. So all I'm saying is, yeah, the Niners aren't there yet. You know, they're definitely not there. No, when you but, start but, talking about playoffs, then you're there. Yeah, I, I, the thing is, though, I don't know that they should be put in the toilet. This is my only problem. And I don't Not in the toilet. We're right there on the rim hanging on, trying to, you know, get out of that. <laughs> this, is why, this is why when the reality starts, when the reality people start in, I always say, I don't give grades until I see performance. Yes. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. When I see but people don't, play, people don't like talk me. about it, though. No, no, no. You no, no like you, don't, don't say like sound like me. Who's that saying that sound like me? That was me. No, that was. You know, you know, get that the was. fuck out of here. You started yeah. giving grades out three I'm, months you're gonna, ago. You're going to tell me. You I never, I never told you. Three I ne months don't ago. Don't hear that shit. No, you yeah, and I said, I'm not going to grade these players until I see what they do. I said, wow, that oh, my God. Don't give me that shit. Then why do you? Oh, what did you just say a minute ago? Repeat what you said. Look, we I all do it. I do it too. You. Look, you can't just do that and do stuff. Buckner, I said that all the time. I've been be... saying the whole time. Stop judging me. I, I do it too. I do it too. Damn, this day is gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, Buckner, Buckner's gonna be a beast, right? How do we know? He ain't no. even played in the NFL. Yeah, we just say he is. Nobody yeah. said that. Not I'm saying it right now. said that. I'm saying Buckner's a beast right now. I'm saying it right now. All I'm saying is that at the same time, I can be honest and say, yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do, but I'd like to think he's gonna be a beast. But that's the difference. Well, hold on. That's, I'll go. say, that's, I'll hold say, hold if Buckley's gonna be a beast. Exactly. There ain't no hard saying that, doing. but at the but same time, I'm gonna admit, I don't fucking know. I don't know for sure, cause he ain't never played it down in the NFL. Thank you. But but we do think he's gonna be a beast from his college film and the fact that he played with Chip Kelly and our defensive line coach. Let's go right down the line. 
I'm not gonna even front. So I'm good. not gonna even front. I already got that Buckner jersey. I'm not gonna even front. I already got his jersey. <laughs> I got that other Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. I'm trying to take the Smith off and put Buckner. I'm being cheap about it, but we'll see what happens. I got you. I already got the Buckner jersey. I'm keeping it real. No, but this is the yeah. thing. This, this argument will rage until the season starts because there will be those who say, team ain't shit, and then there will be those of us who say, oh, come on, man, they ain't even playing. Let's go. We, we'll see what they like. That, rage, that argument could go on forever, and both sides will claim that they're right. So it never goes anyway. It's a dumb argument. It's, I, no, hey, it's, Dan, it's entertainment. No one's saying no one even, no one's saying that anyone's right. It's Check just, the ratings this week. Check Steven, the ratings this week. Steven, you came in with the term keeping it real or rea the reality of. That immediately said that you thought you were right. right? I didn't think I was right. I just get really upset when you guys always like compare players. Like, to, we're going to the Pro Bowl and all players. that. With everything. We got a whole oh, that Pro Bowl bullshit. I mean, Nobody's I never said that. Nobody. I never heard nobody I, say I never heard anybody say that. Wait, wait, wait. I say after the Pro Bowl. We do as a You did. Steven, you did. I, I, I got it recorded. Too. I'll play it back. I said that you guys act like they're on the verge of becoming a pro bowler. I so? never said that you guys said it. Said that they are a pro bowler. You, but yeah. hey, you guys can interpret it the way you guys came out and said to us that I we got, do. I got three guys that I figured to be. I got four guys I know are going to the pro bowl pretty much this year. And you would argue who are they? Who are they? The who, are they? who are they? I'll start with Aaron Lynch. And hey, wait, before you start screaming and yelling, let me tell you why Aaron Lynch is going to the pro bowl. Because it. now he's got front line help, so he can't get double teamed. He can't double team Aaron Lynch now because now Armstead and Buckner and whoever else is in there is going to be a problem. And also Eli Harold coming from the other side who's got way more speed than Ahmad Brooks. So, so you're saying Eli Harold and uh, Lynch uh, so far? Uh, no, I'm just saying. You look at the combinations of the of the front well, line I just now. I want to hear your four players. That's all I want to hear. I don't want to hear. Oh, okay, okay. Aaron Lynch, <laughs> Naval Bowman, of course. I got Joe Staley, and for the most part. I truly believe that this year will be. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. You can say it. I think you're going to say it. I love to get on bad nerves. Come on, let me hear you. So and also, and I, so I got, I got, I got one, two, three. I need one more player. There is in my mind the thought that Tory Smith will make it this year. Oh. See, see, I. Can, I'm not going to say you're wrong or you're right. I'm just going to say, like, in my head, just hearing that Tory Smith is a pro bowler, that's a little hard for me to, to – for me, though. I'm not saying I'm not saying that you're wrong about it. That's your opinion, and I can't argue with that. You know? No, no, you can disagree so, with I mean, it. I, I, I don't care about your disagree. Opinion, you disagree. If you ask me a question, you. you ask me a question, I answered it for you. I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't I'm not trying to argue. Now. I just want to hear. No, I'm just saying. I, 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 I just wanted you to say it because I can go back to this episode and say, okay, either he was right or either he was wrong. So. No, good. Good, good. Yeah, I, hope yeah, yeah. I hope you do. And, Stephen, know this. I will also could, remember right? this episode, and I will tell you, Stephen, see that? <laughs> yeah, who's your quarterback, bro? Is it, is it Kaepernick now, or is it supposedly whoever the best man is? I, don't well, know, well, I didn't hear the question. What? Who's your, who's your quarterback? No, I, Dad Lewis. I made, Dad Lewis. I, yeah, I made a statement. Dad Lewis. I am through talking Kaepernick. No, with answer. Why can't you? Why can't you? But, yeah, but why can't? See, like stuff like no, that. No, because I don't feel like getting posted up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he kept it real. He kept it real on that yeah, one. He yeah, kept it real. Yeah. Yeah. I said, call a Kaepernick. There you go. I said it for you. There you go. See, there you go. Fine. Okay, I, I, I do <laughs> not enter the Kaepernick. Call a Kaepernick. Hey, hey. Oh, now, I'm now, now it's calling Kaepernick. Now it's calling Kaepernick after that interview. All right. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel sit, Daniel sit there watching. Look at these guys, man. They've got, they've changed. We haven't seen Daniel a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the boon. And everything was busted loose. Daniel, we used to be like, we, 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 we went from like who? We went from Obama to Donald Trump. <laughs> Damn, man, that's fine. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel had the floor. He's the only person who's acting civilized today. Go ahead, Daniel. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're gonna have to keep it real. So I can't hear you, bro. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we. I can uh, hear you. See. Yeah. Today, Junior. You speak a little louder. Can you guys hear me out? Yeah, we we can hear you. Maybe, maybe okay. your headphones you're not you you can't hear, but we can hear you clearly. Okay. You got, cool. You got them beats on. Yeah. So uh, you know what? So that I always say that you know you all want to look at the half empty, half glass, half full. 
So, uh, you know, I, I see that a lot of players, I've seen teams that go from a top five team down to a 15, 20 team. Thank you. You know, just because, you know, one player left. You know, so that one ver one variable basically determines everything. You know, once once Patrick Willis happened, what happened to the Niners? Mm -hmm. See, that's the thing is like y'all don't know the variables, the chemistry between players. Well, more than Yo, one what's that all that noise, man? It, uh, it's the other guy, Derek. I'm right here. Oh, yeah, bad, nobody's here, so so yeah. I mean, I always say, guys, like. It's not. We always tend to think of it like ground up, but we we got to remember that a lot of great teams that they lose one player, you know, they go make it to the Super Bowl, which is garbage. And then it's not like all of a sudden, you know, the team left. It's only that one variable that was needed for everything to come together. It's a formula, you know. One less player, one more player can really determine how the team's gonna go. So, like I said, you know, we're not looking into like oh you know, all of a sudden it's going to happen overnight. But we have seen coaches step in, and all of a sudden drastic change throughout the whole year. That's so I don't know about this whole hypothetical. True. You know, y'all determine something that's set in stone. You know, people lose their prime. Young rookies have breakout years. You know, uh, new players come in, make a difference. And even the reverse is true. You know, new players come in and they suck. You know, they have their big contracts, and then they just lose, and that's it. So That's true. Daniel, I gotta tell you right now, man, that was awesome. Yeah, definitely. That was right man. on target, man. That was right on target. <laughs> made me, made uh, no me <laughs> Guys, and also we're out of time. It's, oh. Jesus Christ, it's almost time for the ball, another ball game. So I, damn it. So, so Daniel, thanks for coming by, man. I wish you come by every week. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. All right, we'll see you next time. All right. Uh, Rumble. All right Derek, Rumble. Derek, you just huh? Rumble will never made any day, so don't ask him. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, do, we I, really, do we really have to go? Can we go an extra 10 minutes? Well, I, <laughs> it, I wish. Of, I jumped in late, too. Go ahead, Derek. Oh, yeah. Right. All right, who do you guys think is going to win, by the way? Steven, chill out a second. Wait. Hey, guys, let, let Derek have the floor because we got to go. Derek, what's up? Hey, man, what's going on, Rambo? Hey, man, just hanging out, arguing with my boys. <laughs> got, a 49er, got a 49ers fan here in Maryland, man. All right. What's up, brother? So I got to deal with all the Ravens fans here. Yeah. I, Damn. You guys just got rid of Eugene Monroe. Should the 49ers pick him up? No, we don't need him. I didn't think so. <laughs> nah. I, like I said, I, I like the way the team, I like the potential of the team, put it that way. Yeah. I like the potential of the team, and I think the pass rush where everybody is forgetting is the pass rush is a defense's best friend. If you got a pass rush, you can have some mediocre cornerbacks and you'll still get the job done because the, the quarterback's not going to have time to throw the ball. That's just common sense football right there. Mm. So that's, I mean, like I said, I like the way the team, I like the potential. I like some of the players. I like I like uh, Rodgers. I think he, you know, if he comes along, he's going to be big. And I like the, uh, what's the Devin, uh, Kajus or whatever his name is. Yeah, Kajus, yeah. Yeah, if he gets healthy, he's on the you put him, man. Ellerton, and Torrey Smith, good, great. Are you talking about speed and size? That's your combination like right that. there. I like True. that. Un untested yeah. and should not be prejudged. This is, uh, this, yeah. is, this is my whole argument. All right, All right Derek, we're, we're out of time, so I'm going to tell you what, man. I hope you get man, back next week. Man, next week I'll be back, man. All right, bro, look for you, man. Daddy! All right. <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I got I got I got a lot of knowledge. I'm gonna kick to y'all next week then. All right, looking forward to it. Forward looking for you. All right, Derek. All right, man. Thanks. Take it easy. Thanks, Rombo. Stay in, bro. Yeah, take it easy, man. Peace, right. brother. And Emilio. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why is what you want? What you want to add, man? What do I want to ask? Yeah, because we're gonna be we're, we're, we're really close oh, shop. God help us. Let him, let, no, don't don't bother him. Let, let, let him talk. I mean, no, hey, I I ain't knocking people's opinion, but like I said, some of y'all need to just stop lying and making it seem like we're an all-star fucking team, and we're not. Not at this point, no. I wanted the team to be like that, like we had in 2012, 2013. I want that uh, all-star team we had. But at this point, we're too far from that. We'll get there eventually. 
you know, like I said, we got better coaches than what we did way better than last year. But like I said, we're going to get there. It's just time. But mm-hmm. next year, I'd be shocked if we get up that high top five. That's too far for me. <laughs> yeah, way too far. Okay, but see, okay, fine. <laughs> no, I'm saying I want to hear. It. I'm, I'm just saying to you, nobody said that. Nobody, you accuse, don't don't say nobody. Don't say you nobody accuse people the show. of that, too much. No, don't no, no mm-hmm. shit. No, no, I'm not. Shit, shit. It ain't <laughs> some of y'all on here. You're one of them. Don't act like <sighs> you just like changing your opinion a lot sometimes. <sighs> okay. Anyway, me though, looking forward. Like I said. Look I at, respect your opinion, but you know. No, hey. you don't. Just stop lying. Yes, I, no, I actually, no, I actually do. I'll be straight up with you there. I, I respect you do not your respect opinion. any opinions. Don't, yes, don't I even do. Go there. I honestly do. Okay. I respect okay. everybody's opinion, but it's just because I shut it down doesn't mean I don't respect it. Yeah, okay. Do the, well, <laughs> likewise. Likewise. We, okay. All right, bro. No, seriously, it's, 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 it's fun, man. Go ahead. All right. Me know. Happy Father's Day, bro. All right, man. All right. All right. All right you too, man. All right. All right. Mark. What's good? Mark, what do you want to add before we say goodbye? Man, y'all need to calm down. I, <laughs> I know, huh? Mark, this is, the first time you, this is the first time you came in on this. Huh? <laughs> no, you know what? I watch y'all every week, and I join in a couple times, So, but it's just fun to be a part of it this time. Yeah. Man, um, it's getting more I just think, control every week. <laughs> yeah, I see. And then y'all see the phone calls come through, but I'm, I be working. I be wanting to join sometimes, but yeah. yeah. But uh, I just think, man, I just remember – before the nine, before Harbaugh came along, every year I was telling my coworkers and friends, man, I think we're going to do it this year. I think we're going to do it this year. And that's what people just got to understand. If you're a real fan, you can call it day, you know, dreaming or whatever you want, but you're going to look and try to find the gems in your team. That's just what every fan does in every city. I don't care who it is. At the Thank same you. time, you do have to be realistic. I understand that. But, like, the Quentin Dow situation, all we're just looking at it as solid starters. We're not looking at it as pro bowlers, just somebody to fill the position and go in there. And I think people get that misconstrued because we talk about it every week that you're saying they're pro bowler or whatever else. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Yeah. Because, I mean, even Denver didn't have pro bowlers all across the front line. Nah, they don't. Yeah. I, yeah. I get those arguments all the time. When I'm playing my boys, and like I said, I'm in Arizona. We're playing Madden, and he throws out the name of his mediocre player, and I throw out the name of my mediocre player, and we're both arguing about who could take who in that position. It's like <laughs> neither one of them are pro bowlers, but in your mind, because you're a fan, you, you're thinking they're the shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's all that is. And next, and if, if next time you get in an argument, make sure that before he gets cut, uh, what's that that linebacker we have, Corey Limonier? You could yeah. Throw, oh, throw he's Corey's name out there, man. <laughs> Corey. Yeah, he, he's got to go. Uh, man. man, I was playing ball with, uh, what's his name? Darren, uh, he's a linebacker for the Cardinals, man. He got suspended for the weed stuff and all that. <laughs> Darren uh, Buchanan? Darren yeah. Buchanan? That's no, Darren Washington. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, man, I was nice. trying to recruit him, bro. He was in L.A. Fitness a couple times. I was trying to recruit him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I was like, we need you. But, you know, the league ain't released him yet. So, uh, yeah, no, these anyway. Guys, uh, they got to stop getting caught smoking dope. And oh, I wish, man. League, I wish the league would lighten up on the smoking dope, especially in off season. You know, because these guys, when they're off, let them do it. Yeah, I mean, if they get caught during the season is one thing, but come on, man. Yeah, these are grown ass men. Well, I was. This is America, man. They're free to do what they want to off season. The police don't bust yeah. them. So you know you gotta suspend them. The league with their holier than thou, crystal white image is never going to happen. Yeah, there's uh, never going to be. And, and, and everybody does it. Everybody doesn't get caught. I got a feeling that seventy percent of the league smokes. So, yeah, I think stuff Anthony like Davis, marijuana. Yeah, Anthony Davis is high right now. Get ready for tweet. <laughs> well, we can <laughs> tell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronald. All right, Mark. See you next time, man. See you, bro. All right. Ron. Steven. Yeah. Steven, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you want to say, man? <laughs> no, I just – you guys can take it for what I, what I said. I mean, it's your guys' uh, wish I take it. But it's like I just wish that sometimes the show could change. I know it's the off season. why we, we always talk about what ifs all the time. You know, obviously you can't you – can't, we're not seeing anything happen, so we're just wanting to see stuff happen. So, but I'm not going to – I don't know, because it seems like, to me, okay, like Smelter we talk about a lot. I heard we talk about a lot about uh, Quentin, uh, Quentin uh, Dial. And it's like players like that is just where I just don't get how they're acceptable with you guys. Not necessarily that they're pro Bowl, but it's like they're acceptable with people, and I just don't understand that. But um, 
I don't know. I just see him as a backup. I don't really see him as a starter or, or something to get wet off of. That's just my opinion. And then also, um, uh, we see, like, I'm just tired of people always saying stuff off Bleacher Report and stuff like that. Like, man, on Bleacher Report, you seen what happened during practice? He was catching that one hand. It's like, dude, who gives a fuck? And we should stop talking about people like, uh, like what's his name, Jared Hain. Like, he's already done. He's over with. Like, why are we still talking about it? Hey, and Steven, just stuff Steven, like that. It's Steven, just, Steven, go ahead. Steven, I just want to ask you a question, though. Go ahead. What do you want to talk about? I'd rather us talk about something different than the same things that we give do. Me, we you, can find, you can find anything that we could talk just, about than this. Just, give me a suggestion. If I was to think right now, I would say, like, okay, why don't we all go for, like, one by one, let's talk about what do you guys feel independently how we're going to do as far as the record goes. We can say that. I want to see how Tito thinks about what record we're going to have this season. I want to see what, what Will, you, and just go on down the, down, go down the road. You know, just something different. Just don't. We always talk about and, and it's almost like we're repetitive on these what ifs and it's we always go by week by week like oh now we're talking about Anthony Davis tweeting is that really a big topic to talk about I know it's a topic but it's not it's not nothing for me to should I really go on the show I mean I want to don't get me wrong I really want to but is it worth us mentioning that Stephen my my only thing about this is I understand where you're coming from but when I ask you do you have anything that you want to bring to the table, what do you do to me? You, you give me nothing. And now at the yeah, end... Yeah, I told you. you I told you. I told you. Complain. I wish we could talk about something different. I know, but when I asked I you... you. When, I, when I asked you an hour ago, I said, Steven, what, what's, what's going on, man? You got something you want to... And, and you gave me nothing. I thought, I thought that was I like, called you like three times ago. and you wouldn't even answer. So now at oh. the end of the show, you tell me you can't stand the subject I wasn't matters. the only one. Well, I, don't, I mean, I, I'm not, I don't know about everybody, but I'm just saying... The point is, if you've got something you want to bring to the table, then why in the hell don't you bring it? Because cause when I was called upon, I was doing something busy, and it wasn't because I didn't want to diss you or not want to say anything. I just missed my opportunity one time, and then I came back, and, okay, it, but and I, I couldn't bet, hear nobody. Three or four times Cause, cause came back to you, and you still offered nothing more <coughs> than criticism. Oh, well. So, Steve, I give I'm you saying, my indulgences, and I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm just saying, if, if you feel that strongly about the subject matter, then why don't you add something? Instead of complaining about the subject that are being discussed. I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's not my show. Okay, well, what do we give it your show? Next week, we'll come to you first if you show up next week. We'll give it to you first and see what you want to talk about. And nobody ever said you could. Ooh. I ask you guys every week, what do you got in mind? I mean, I don't understand this. Yeah, yeah, another thing, though, you don't respond on the Hangout, so I don't really know how to contact you. and I don't really use the Google Plus either, so. It's <laughs> Right, Steven, okay, now, now I can't really contact you, man. <laughs> yeah, now, it's get, now it's getting off the beaten track. We right, went through, now, well. we, we, Steven, I tried to contact you three weeks ago. It took me two weeks to find you. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. All right, Steven, tell you what. Let us continue next week. You bring something substantial that you think is substantial, and I swear to God, we'll stop. We'll talk about it. How about All that? Right, we'll talk about it. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Guaranteed. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks. See you next week. All right. All right, Tito. Yo, what's up, Ramon? I don't know, man. I just, that came out of oh, field. I have no idea. This is beautiful, about. brother. This is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to admit one thing. I kind of like his idea about uh, talk about records and all that. But uh, I, I'm kind of iffy because I'm one of those men that I don't like. I mean, in my heart, the only teams that I want for the Niners to beat, and I mean beat senseless, Seattle, Cowboys, Giants. Carolina. I mean, I want to see our defense wipe out the quarterback, especially Seattle. But uh, you know what? Yeah, that's like that's the hardest what you one. Just said too, though. I just like what you said too. You know, just pick a subject or whatever. But you did ask him, though. I got to No, I, I, I always ask because I always I always feel like I'm asking. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't want to. What I don't want to do is lord over the the show. I just want to. That's why I say to you guys, what do you want? What you got anything you want to bring to the table today? That's I, when I say that I I suspect. That you do. If you don't, then I just move on to something else. Yeah, and, I agree and, with that. But yeah. you know what? Next week I'm gonna do a little bit of checking out about the 49ers and all that, and I pick a subject or whatever. You know, if you if it's okay by you, sure. If you come out, tell me we talk about maybe next following week. Fine by me. But you know what? I, I like I enjoy your show. It was great today. It's kind of a little bit hectic with a video, <laughs> but um. I, I still believe that this defense, especially with the defensive help we got up front, it could be 
and I'm praying they will be a top five defense. Just like my man, which you just said, you don't know about the other team because they have players that are left. The most important players that they need for their scheme left, and it ruins their defense. You don't know about the other teams. All I know is about our team. That I still think that with this defense, it could be a top notch. One thing about so, the NFL is already proven. Any, any yeah. weird things happen every season. I mean, who thought this? Who who thought the, of all teams, the Panthers are going to almost go undefeated into the playoffs? Yeah, but you know what? I I I I, I, I like the defense. I just don't like the quarterback. You don't know this bullshit and all that to all the team. I, come on. You'll feel better, Tito. He's already said he wouldn't be doing that this year. <laughs> yeah, sure. He'll be crying right after we wax that ass. <laughs> all right, Tito. Brother. See you next week, bro. All right. You happy Father's Day. Take care. Yeah, all right, Tito. Same to you, bro. All right. All right, brother. Bye. Well. What's going on, Rambo? Oh, same old, man. <laughs> I can't wait. You know what? This is, All this antsiness is because the season hasn't started yet. I think it will all be – yeah, pretty much. Be all pretty much. By the time, at least, at least preseason, yeah. people have something they actually base their opinion on. It's like those who say there is not, and those who say there is. It, it'll be it'll, the picture will at least become a little more clear by the end of August. So I don't know. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what do you want to add? Uh, not much. I just like look. I I love the 49ers. That's that's my team. You know what I mean. I know everything about them. I stay on track. You know what I mean. Uh, I can't say I've been a fan since the 80s or necessarily the 90s. You know, I wasn't really into football at that point. But, mm. you know, I've suffered through the uh, – Dark What is it? Eric Dickerson or, Dickerson or whatever that coach was that we had, you know, since then. You oh, know, Eric's- and that same thing, you know, every year, you know, you want to be that fan just like, oh, we're going to be better next year. But realistically, you know, just everything comes through time and and, and players, you know, through the draft and, and – free agent acquisitions and you know I mean most people won't even remember when Justin Smith came to our team and stuff like that but we we realized he was there once Alton Smith came you know what I mean so it's like true most people don't even acknowledge like what it takes and like right now you know we're we're, we're getting better but it's just like next year I really don't feel like you know it, it's 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 going to be an improvement from last year definitely but you know and it's not the hate on the Niners, it's really not. I just really feel like it's just being honest with yourself and not saying I'm right, you know, because anything could happen. But, you know, realistically, when you look at the teams that play against us, you know, they're definitely some good teams. And it's not to say we're shit, but, you know, it's it's hard to say we're going to be here when, you know, we're still down there and shit like that. No, so. and, that, and that's understandable. But, you know, I, I, got a, I got a feeling, though, with Erickson and even like Tom Sula last year, organization is step one. You got a solid organization, Harbaugh, great organization. Mm-hmm. The sad thing about Jim, though, as I look back on it, they lack one something. Um, we like they, 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 we were a, a, a regular season team, and we could make it to the playoffs, uh, but there would always be that one something missing to kill. I wish I could. it'd probably be uh, maybe a little bit more pass rush. And at the same time, you know, Alex Smith was a good quarterback, but you know, he was just a good quarterback. And at the time, Colin Kaepernick, you know, when he was coming up in the Super Bowl and all that, he was still a young quarterback. So we never really had that, you know, veteran quarterback who was up there in elite to take us past a certain point. I feel, you know, and every year our defense was getting better until finally we had gotten to the Super Bowl that year, you know, because prior to that, it was, Eli Manning getting the last touchdown pass on us or something like that, you know, their defense couldn't sack them as much. So every year it gets better, you know. That's why next year I think it's going to be better than last year, but will it be, you know, an eight and eight record? I don't know. Will it be seven and nine? Possibly, you know, possibly, which isn't bad. It's, it's, there's no Super Bowl, but you know, the thing is, it's, it's no playoffs possibly too, but that's fine, you know, I don't mind. Because Jeff Kelly came to, to a four and 12 Phillies team. And or and, and the thing is, how did he how did he do that? I, I want to see, is this the kind of mind that can take average players and put them in a position to be superstars? I have a feeling he has that kind of thing going on with him. It's not a regular. We're not talking about a normal everyday coach here. It's a very strange. Definitely. Guy, and he can do strange things. Ten Definitely, especially wrong. with the quarterback. Yeah. I mean, you keep in mind though, he did have some some good players in Philadelphia when he came there, though. Lashawn McCoy, I, I, you know, I, Jeremy Macklin, uh, you know, see, this was is a lot I want to I, I go over this next time. Let's go player for player. As soon as you said Lashawn McCoy, I mean, I think mm-hmm. Carlos Hyde, Torrey, I love Carlos, Jeremy yeah, Macklin. But, 
same yeah. size, same speed. If you keep going down the line, you come see these similarities. But it's pretty close, again. yeah, definitely. We'll yeah. See. All right, well, we are. All right, Rombo, take care, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll holler at you later. All right, bye-bye. Later. And with that said, <laughs> I hope we didn't scare anybody. Normally, we're polite, civilized men. Never do anything less while well, actually walking old ladies across the street is something we like to do. <laughs> I'll see you next Sunday. Nine